Good afternoon and welcome. This is Pastor Tavo DRC, the overseer of the Servant Leadership Cross Body Unity, a new move for males and females in ministry, cross racial, cross cultural, countercultural, traditional, just so we can have prepare to meet each other and forgive each other and get along, not compromising, not PC, but to walk it out in meekness and lowliness and long suffering. Like Paul says, for a transformed community. Let me ask you, P.S., where are the common doctrines and the teaching that talks about the transformed community, which glorifies Christ? It represents the bride of Christ prepared for his coming, soon coming. And guess what? It's the Philadelphian Love Walk Church. It is really the thing that affects society. That's the bottom line of all of this. All of this is not a personal ministry of personal you know ideas it's been a, a lifetime a generation in the making of under of discovering the boundaries the authority the legalism the niceness the quality the fellowship the dysfunction different places in the christian community television media affected just because we were put in this spot you know years ago <laughs> i was raised really traditionally in a happy camper pastor's family that was denominational more traditional but not legalistic not fundamentalist so i grew up with freedom in christ not license but also no racism when i was looking at a movie a couple of maybe 20 years ago my mother was alive i'd go see her she liked to watch black and white reruns german war movies and westerns so it happened to be an old old western and the western was this Native American, you know, cowboys and Native American <laughs> Indian movies of the old, you know, time ago. No, not even really great quality. But I heard one old cowpoke say to the other, you know, back then they didn't say Native American, so please excuse me. But um, he said, the Indians don't like it when we take their pictures. And the other one said, why? Because... He said, well, it's because they think we're going to steal their soul. Now, I'm not sure if that's true or not. I've never, you know, heard that except that, but it stuck in my mind as a resounding, after two, two and a half, you know, two decades or so, I thought, what is your soul? Our soul is our mind, will, and emotions. And what has taken and saturated and fled with and captivated our human Christian ministry, leader, lay, born again, everybody's soul, Christian and not. But what is trying to take our soul, our mind, our will, our emotions? Just look at what life is now. That's why society needs an answer to get it back, a balance. So if we have no fun fundamentalists, you know, raging, putting TMZ videos to attack the fellow tongue talker, you know, really, really. <laughs> if we have confusion and gossip at the lower ranks and the fruit of the friendly fire fellowships that have really not even received Jesus in fullness, you know, in understanding, receive the fruit of the spirit in second timothy 3 1 through 5 first timothy 6 5 both of these long time ago prophesied by paul for the latter perilous times the perilous times will come even the friendly fire fellowship dysfunctional toxic church that you can't stand unless you were part of it you know so we're not we're trying to shock it we're trying to stir it we're trying to get rid of the snakes in the grass and work on ourselves and working on me you work on you so the cross body unity is to deliver accusation frustrating accusation to get out your bible and everybody hear god for your own movement your style your type whatever god says and let's just preach that and let god bring out the diverse many kinds of parts of his anointing you know many styles facets he's like bigger than a diamond i picture god the creator is so holy so amazing so magnificent that we can't get a whole glimpse of a glimpse of him down here on earth or we die like moses would die but he'll give you a little peek at himself through a worship of some movement or bible teaching or in you know diverse men 
moving in the Holy Spirit or not, or calm, reserve, and dignity, whatever it is. So we want to go back. Another thing about the Native American, if that is true, you know, uh, the comment about they didn't want their soul taken. We have to work on that. All I have to, we all have to work on it. We're just hypnotized because of the way TV and on the online, we're always online. It just sucks at us, you know. So it hurts relationships. It builds in dross mixture as well. And I'm not putting it down because I'm online a lot, but that's why I have to work on me. So the issue is for kids and know the boundaries and the balances. The other part was in the last 10 years, a song had come in my heart pertaining to the Demas and the dysfunction and the achievement method part of the ministry. And it was Toby Mac's old song, about 10 years old, Lose My Soul. You can hear that. It's of a rap sound. He, he and um, a couple of others were singing that. I don't want to I don't want to get the world, gain the world, but lose my soul. Our mind, our wills, and our emotions. That is the battle of, of the flesh, the devil, and the world. You know, it always is. So we're not moved, we're not hypnotized by it. See, that's it. It's got an authority, the prince and power there, many things. But we want to keep our joy. We want to use it for the max, but watch out for the soul of the Christian, of the born-again Christian, the minister and the leader, even the doctrine that we teach, the kind of doctrine that is really point to eternity first, the cross, the cruel cross, taking up our cross daily, not being fantasy, not being moved, not being, you know, uh, sucked out into other false things or lesser things. See, there are greater things and lesser things. You can have three kinds of Christians right now in ministry, and I'm talking basically to the charismatic or anybody. And the Lord has put on my heart the three kinds of Christians due to the TV-affected world in which we live, society. There's the Enoch, the first love, walking with the Lord every day, the remnant, the holy fear of the Lord, remnant still respecting, valuing each other and the Lord, and first things first. Then we have next, the Demas. The Demas, the born-again Demas who loved the things of this world. Paul said, told us about Demas. He said, you know, Demas left the ministry. He must have been gifted to be on Paul's team. Demas left the ministry. He loved the things of this world more, and he moved to Thessalonica, which is on the seaport. So I pictured him just thinking, you know, this is too tame for me. I need extreme sports. I want more money. I want to have it all. You know, this is just plain old... Paul's in prison. He's not even famous. So he left, and he moved. I think I picture him investing in timeshares, making his fortune. Last, we have the, you know, the caliber of First Samuel Eli, the temple I priested. Those are the whelp. You can have Demas, you can have Enos, Enos Welp, you know, people believe the Levitical Patriarch Authority Movement. But the worst part was the pre-Ichabod condition before God judged them. Not accused them, judged them. This is just a, me a method of warning people to get ready. You know, we don't want that to happen to anybody. But if you look at what happened, God got, he must got fed up. Because it was Hophni and Phineas, the two second-in-command preacher's sons, who were using and abusing relationships. No fear of the Lord, no respect for the women and for money. The offering of the Lord was despised in that day, like it is now. And because of Eli's sons. And Eli was weak and old, I guess afraid of them. Maybe they controlled him. But the top one tolerated, allow it, knew about it. Even the whole town did. The whole area did. He did nothing. So read through that. And God used a no-name prophet. They were known. They were mega. They were the office high priest of the land. And God used a no-named prophet to come and say, Eli, you're out of there. God has seen it. You've not dealt with it. He's had enough. You're going to be gone forever, your sons. Shortly after that, the two sons were killed in battle, and Enoch heard about it. Excuse me. Eli heard about it and died. So then the next that ushered in the new movement of Samuel, the first prophet of